hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created role based sidebars and logout functionality in our angular application and in today's video we will create modules for admin and customer and after this we will write the code to redirect the users to their dashboards after the login so let's get started so in our angular application in the app folder we need to create another folder so we will right click on this app folder and we will choose new folder and we will name this folder as modules and after this we will right click on this modules folder and we will open it in integrated terminal and after this to get the command to create the lazy loaded module we need to visit angular.io slash guide slash lazy loading ng modules and from this page we need to copy this command and this command will create a customer module and will define the routing for it as well. Now let's go back to the VS code and in the VS code we will paste this command and after this we need to create a module with the name of customer so let's remove the s from here and after this we will remove the s from the route as well. And now let's hit enter and as you can see our customer module is ready now let's open our modules folder and inside this we got the customer module where we can see the component file for the customer and after this we have customer.module.ts and customer routing.module.ts and after this we need to create a module for the admin so we will paste the same command here and after this we need to update the module name and instead of customer we will write admin and after this we need to update the route as well so we will replace this customer with the admin and now let's hit enter and as you can see our admin module is ready as well and now in the modules folder we got two folder admin and customer and the file structure for admin module is same as the customer module and after this let's open our app routing.module.ts file and in this file as you can see we got two lazy loaded routes for the customer and admin module and after this we need to create dashboards for admin and customer and to do this we will right click on this admin folder and we will choose new folder and we will name this new folder as components and after this we will right click on this components folder and we will open it in integrated terminal and here we need to give the command to create a new component which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as dashboard now let's hit enter and as you can see our dashboard component is ready inside the admin module now we need to create a route for this component and to do this we will open admin routing.module.ts file and in this file we need to duplicate this admin component route and after this we need to update the path and we will set dashboard and after the path we need to update the component and we will mention dashboard component and we will import it from components slash dashboard slash dashboard dot component and now let's save this file and after this we need to create dashboard component for the customer so we will open customer module and after this we will right click on this customer folder and we will choose new folder and we will name this folder as components and after this let's right click on this components folder and let's open it in integrated terminal and here we need to give the command to create a new component which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as rooms and as you can see our rooms component is ready now let's open customer routing.module.ts file and in this file let's duplicate this customer route and for the path let's set it as rooms and after this we need to update the component and we will mention rooms component and after this let's save this file and now we need to write the code to redirect the users after the login to these components based on their roles so we will open auth folder and inside this we will open components and login and after this we will open login.component.ts file and in this file after saving the details of user and token we will write if condition and in this we will use user storage service and we will call a method is admin logged in and if it is true then we need to redirect the user to the admin dashboard and to do this we will use router and after this we will call navigate by url method 
and in this we need to pass the url which is slash admin slash dashboard and after this we will write else if and in this we will use user storage service and we will call is customer logged in method and if it is true then we need to redirect the user to the customer's rooms page so we will write this dot router and after this we will call navigate by url method and for the path we will pass slash customer slash rooms and after this let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and in the browser as you can see we are on the login page of our application now let's add the details of the customer and the email is root at the rate gmail.com and after this we need to add the password which is admin and now let's click on this login button and as you can see we got redirected to the customer slash rooms page where we can see the navigation bar for the customer and for the text we can see rooms works which is there in the rooms component of the customer now let's click on this logout button and after this we need to add the email and password for the admin and the email is admin at the rate test.com and after this we need to add the password which is admin and now let's click on this login button and as you can see we haven't got redirected to any page after the login now let's right click and let's click on inspect and after this we need to click on this console tab and as you can see we got an error which is related to the url and to fix this error let's go back to the vs code and in the login component we need to update the spelling of the dashboard so let's mention dashboard and after this we will save this file and after this we will add the details of the admin user again and after adding the details we will click on this login button and as you can see this time we got redirected to the admin dashboard and our sidebar got updated as well and in the text we can see dashboard works which is present in the dashboard component of the admin and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create jwt request filter in our spring boot application